Kelly. Thank you, Speaker. My question is for the Premier. Last year, this legislature unanimously passed the Supporting Ontario's First Responders Act, which recognized the increased risk of serious disability that our police officers across Ontario face. Yet in Bill 175, the same government is attempting to gut the employment rights of disabled police officers. This bill overrides police collective agreements that protect members from discrimination and limits the human rights of disabled police officers. Section 115 gives police employees a fast track to firing disabled police officers, regardless of whether their disability is temporary or permanent, without regard to how serious it is. How does attacking disabled police officers build stronger and safer communities? I know that the minister is going to want to comment in, in the supplementary, but please just let me add my voice to all of those who have welcomed police officers here to the legislature today, Mr. Speaker, and to just say that uh, we have worked in partnership with first responders, with police officers in particular, Mr. Speaker, to make sure that we do everything we can to create the safest Ontario possible. And I want to just acknowledge the work of the police officers, the organizations that have worked with us. Um, we value their advice, but more than that, Mr. Speaker, we value their service to the people of Ontario every single day. Be seated, please. Be seated, please. <coughs> Supplementary. It was a very specific question, Section 115. In 2015, London Police Services revealed that mental health calls account for 15 per cent of their entire budget. Windsor Police report they respond to eight mental health crisis calls a day. This is a common story in our cities and towns across Ontario. Ontario's police have become the de facto frontline mental health workers, but they don't have the resources necessary. Why does this government fail to provide police with the means necessary to deal with mental health issues in our communities? Thank you. Minister of Labour. Speaker, thank you, and thank you once again. I'll tell you one of the best things I've ever worked on this House is when we came together for our first responders and we got unanimous support to do much better on PTSD, Speaker, for first responders to bring in presumptive legislation to make sure that the people who are on the front line, Speaker, who go and do the job, Speaker, that we don't want to do, that deal with the situations that we sometimes prefer not to deal with. My resolve is the same as yesterday. You will signal to me when it happens. Carry on. Speaker Bruce Chapman, the PEO, police officers, firefighters, corrections, paramedics, Speaker, came forward and said, we need better coverage for post-traumatic stress disorder yes, for our, for our, uh, our members, Speaker. We delivered on that, Speaker. I'm proud of that legislation. We should be all proud Thank of that you. legislation. Final supplementary. We are. That's why we passed it unanimously. Exactly. The Liberals are also underfunding our court system. It's another slap, slap in the face to police officers and justice system. It means more state cases and more dangerous criminals free to roam our streets. Since the landmark Supreme Court Jordan decision, more than 200 criminal cases have been tossed out across Canada. Earlier this year, it's been reported that over 70 have occurred here in Ontario. It's completely unacceptable that charged criminals are, being walk are walking free. We need individuals who've been charged to actually go through the justice system. Can the Liberals explain to the police here today why they've underfunded our court system? Here, here. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Speaker, the Attorney General. Attorney General. Thank you very much, Speaker, and I and appreciate the member Cox. asking a very important question, Speaker. Since the Jordan decision came by the Supreme Court of Canada last uh, summer, Speaker, we have been working very actively to ensure that we make our justice system faster and fairer. Spe 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 the member from Dufferin Caledon come to order, and that may indeed get us to warnings, but I'll check. Do you have a complaint to member from Renfrew? <coughs> No? Good. Carry on. Speaker, in order to make our justice system faster and fairer, in response to the decision by, uh, by the Supreme Court of Canada, Speaker, we last December, 
we announced an investment of $25 million per wow. year in our justice system, hiring more new judges, more crowns, more defense uh, attorneys, uh, more staff to make sure that we make our system effective. Answer. But, Speaker, we've not stopped there. We're making structural changes in our system as well, both here in province by changing our bail policy, but also working along Thank with you. the federal government. New question, the member from Nipissing. Thank you.